In this exercise, our goal is to explore the use of a hardware device on your um, mobile device. We'll make use of the camera that is uh, incorporated into your mobile device. We'll see how we can make use of the camera and get a picture from the camera and then use it within our application. In this particular case, I will leverage the camera plugin that is available in Cordova to access the camera and be able to retrieve a picture from the camera. We're going to make use of the picture for our user registration page in our application. So let's go ahead and see how we can make use of the camera through the Cordova camera plugin and the NG Cordova wrapper service uh, built around the camera plugin. So what exactly are we trying to achieve in this exercise? In this exercise, we're going to support the registration form for our app. So when you click on the menu, you would now see a new um, item in the menu called as register. So when you click on the register uh, button, you see that you have a registration page that pops up on the screen. Now, this registration page includes also uh, an option for you to upload your image. Now, one way to allow the user to upload the image is to allow the user to use the camera on the device in order to capture the image for the user. So for example, you can click on this button called take a picture. So when you click on that, then this will result in the camera application being invoked on your device. And then you will be able to take a picture and then include the picture into the registration page. So let me just quickly take a picture of myself. And then once the uh, picture taking is, com uh, is completed, based on your camera application, you can approve the picture. And then perhaps it provides a way of cropping the picture like this and then saving. And this picture will now be available within your registration page. Now, it so happens the registration model has disappeared. So let me bring it back up by um, clicking on the register button again. You now see that a picture of yourself is included in the registration page. Now, this then can be submitted after filling in the remaining details, can be submitted for registering the user. So that way, the user makes in image also available to be stored in your app. And then later on, you can use that image within your app to identify the user or to show the user's uh, identity. So this is one place where we are going to take advantage of the availability of the camera on your device to capture the picture and then use that within the registration page. Now, this means that I need to take advantage of the Cordova's camera plugin. So here you see a case of making use of the underlying hardware capability of the device. Now, for the sake of illustration for you, I am still making use of the Android emulator. It so happens that the Android emulator supports the use of the webcam built into your computer and then use that as a camera for the emulator. Now, this is not supported by your iOS simulator. So you can either make use of a real device and this application should work just the same on a real device, or you can set up your Android emulator to make use of the webcam within your computer as the camera for the emulator. Now you're going to ask me, how do I, in case I want to use the webcam on my computer as the camera for my emulator, how am I going to set this up? So for that, you need to bring up your emulator setup that you did in the previous module. So where you configured your emulator. So you can bring that up again as shown in the um, screen here. So here I have brought up the Android Virtual Device Manager. You can click on any one of those devices and then click on Edit. And then where it says Front Camera and Back Camera, previously it was none. Now you're going to select the 
webcam zero as the camera for the emulator. So you can use this approach to set up your emulator to make use of the webcam. Now this, as I said, doesn't work with the iOS simulator. You can use a real device, of course, for um, testing out this application. Let's now proceed forward to see how we can make use of the camera plugin in order to achieve the functionality that you just saw on the screen. The first question you're going to ask is how do I use the camera plugin? The first step obviously is to install the camera plugin into your application. For that, at the command line type ionic plugin add org.apache.cordova.camera. So this is the camera plugin that comes with Cordova. So we will add that into our application and then your camera uh, plugin is now available to use within your code. Let's now go and see how we are going to modify our application to support this uh, camera uh, usage within our application. Switching to the code, you see that the first thing that I have done is to add the register uh, option to the sidebar menu. So here I have opened sidebar.html and then added in the new um, um, ion item called register and then set up the uh, function to be called as register, which means obviously that I need to implement this register function in my app control controller. So let's now move to the controller and then set up everything in the controller and then we'll move on to see how we can make use of the camera plugin there. Now switching to controller.js file. Now in the app control, the first thing that I would like to do is to set up the model that displays the registration page. Then we will add in the code for supporting the camera. Then we will switch to add in the new template for the registration page. So let me first add in the code for supporting the registration model. We have already seen how to set up models earlier. So I'm just going to throw in the code there and you should be easily able to understand what this code does because we know how to set up models already. Here, you see that I have added in the code to support the registration model. So as you can see, I have said ionic model from template URL templates slash register.html. So obviously I need to create the register.html template. I'll do that in the next step. Then, of course, the model uh, creation and I call this as a register form. And then I have the close register function here, which allows me to hide the model. I have the register function, which will be called in order to show the model. So you saw the use of the register function in the sidebar.html file in order to open the model. So I can show the model. And then I have the do register function, which handles the processing of the form once it is submitted. Now, so this all this part is well and good. We know how to set up all this already from the uh, experience with setting up models from one of the earlier exercises. The next step you're going to ask me is how do I set up to use the camera? To use the camera, obviously you need to inject the camera um, ng Cordova service into our controller. So let's move to our controller definition and then inject the service there. Going to our controller definition here, I'm going to now inject the service for the Cordova camera. Also note that I have injected Ionic platform because I need that to check to make sure that the platform is ready. The Cordova camera plugin is supported through the Cordova camera service that ng Cordova provides for us. Next, within the app control um, controller code, I'm going to add in the code for managing the camera. So here I will add in the ionic platform ready 
So I obviously, if I'm going to make use of the camera, I need to check to make sure that my platform is ready. Thereafter, I will add in the options for the camera. Now, if you look up the Cordova camera plugin, you can easily see what the various options for the camera is. I am using some of the very basic setup for the camera. So you, here I have uh, the uh, quality is 50 because this picture I am only using to identify the user's face in my application. So I don't need a very high quality image anyway. So I am happy with a simple quality image. So I set up the quality destination type and source target, width target height and various other features. And also I say save to photo album as false. If you want this picture to be sent into your photo album, set that to true and the picture will be added into the photo album of your device or the gallery application of your device. So I have set up the options for the camera. Now these options I'm going to supply as a parameter when I uh, actually set up the camera. So how do you make use of the camera? Let's set up a function called take picture, which when called will allow me to uh, get the picture from using the Cordova plugin. So let me add in the code and then I'll explain what this code does. Still within the Ionic ready function, I have added in the code for this function called take picture. So whenever this take picture function is called, it will load in an image from the camera into my registration object that I have set up. Um, I have forgotten to show you where the registration object is set up. I'm going to show that to you in a short while. So in here, when I call this scope picture, I call Cordova camera. And then there is a function that Cordova camera plugin supports called get picture. And note that this get picture takes the options that I have just configured earlier as a parameter. And then it has a then. So note that we are using the, um, the uh, promise that is being returned there. So for the then, I am supplying the function, the success function and the error function here. And so in the success function, I am saying scope registration dot image source, IMG SRC is equal to data image JPEG base 64 and image data. So this image data is what is being returned by my get picture call inside my um, promise that is coming in. So this function returns the image data, which will be added in into my registration page. Now, when I submit this to the server, this image will be saved on the server side. You can also save this image on your local device in a directory or into your local devices album, if you so wish, by setting up the appropriate options for the get picture function. One last thing that I uh, should ask you to do is to add a empty object called registration in here. So after login data and reservation, add in an empty object called registration. So the registration form, when it is filled, all this information will be saved in this registration JavaScript object by our modal support functions that we have already designed. So that's the reason why we add in this registration function here. Now, the last thing that is left for us is to set up the template for our registration page. The last thing that I would like you to do is to add this uh, template called register.html. So in your templates folder, in your um, www folder there, add in by um, create a new file named register.html. I have already done that and I have already filled in the register.html page with the template information. So that will save some time. But I'll, let me uh, quickly walk you through the template um, HTML code that I have designed here. This code is provided for you in the instructions. So you can quickly um, cut and paste the code 
into the register.html page here. So inside the register.html page, you see the use of the ion modal uh, view, and then we have the ion header bar, which contains this close button, which is set with the NJ click as close register. So that's how you close the registration page. The ion content obviously defines the registration form. So the form here, I have submitted form as ng submit do register. And in here, I have set up um, our first item, which is nothing but your picture. The second item I have set up is the image, which is retrieved from registration forms, uh, registration.imageSRC um, property there. Now, initially that will be empty. That's why you don't see any image there. But if you click on the button that is included in here, the take picture button that is included in here, that will result in a call to the camera. And from the camera, when the picture is returned, that picture will be initialized in the registration JavaScript object. So when you reload your registration template, that picture will show up in place of this image here. Now, in addition, the remaining ones are purely the first name, the last name, the username, the telephone number, and the email. We already know how to set up all these. We have learned about Ionic forms earlier. And then the register button here. So after you set up this template, save the changes, and then your application is now ready for supporting uh, the camera plugin and using the camera plugin in order to get the picture and then allow you to register yourself within your application. Of course, the registration aspect of it will be handled in the next course when we set up a real server. With this, we complete this exercise. In this exercise, you have seen the use of the camera plugin uh, that is available in Cordova together with the ng Cordova wrapper for the camera plugin. And then we have seen how we make use of it in our code in order to retrieve a picture from the camera and then use it within our application.